Today we're going to be talking about different types of bedding to use in your chicken pen or chicken coop. There's several different ones, but the main ones that we're gonna talk about today are hay, pine shavings, pellets, and sand. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of those different beddings and how to use them correctly in your chicken coop or chicken pen. I like to use diatomaceous earth on any bedding that I'm using for my chickens. Diatomaceous earth prevents diseases, kills mites, and has even been known to prevent worms. Hay has been used for numerous years for bedding is probably readily available for anyone that owns cows or horses. Before the convenience of buying pine shavings from the store, it was the most common bedding to use and probably the only one that was available. It works really well in the run area as opposed to the actual roosting or the bedding area. And it also works great for a nesting area where the chickens may lay their eggs. It smells great. It has a really, really great smell. I love the fresh smell of hay. And you can also buy it in bulk. If you leave it for long periods of time, it can become wet and mildewy. It also requires frequent bedding changes. Wet hay is heavy and hard to move and clean. So I'm going to add the sand to the bottom of our chicken coop here. And then I'm going to add pine shavings on top of it. Sand is very absorbent. It is heavy, but it does dry out better than the pine shavings. So I'm going to put it as a bottom right here because this area seems to get really wet. Chickens will love it. Medium to coarse grain sand is the best kind to use. Sand is also non-toxic and it also dries quickly. Soiled sand is easy to see and clean when needed. The chickens will love having a 24-7 access to a dust bath. One thing about the sand is that it does not compost well and it would be impossible to use as a fertilizer. Sand can get a little dusty. Now, pine flakes or pine shavings are a favorite among chicken owners, and this type of bedding comes in different forms of wood. The most common kinds of shavings are pine and cedar, although I would not recommend cedar shavings because there's a possibility that it could be toxic to your chickens. I love to use the pine flakes due to the odor control and ease of cleaning. It's much easier to clean flakes than it is to clean knotted wet hay. Flakes are very easily attainable. You can pick up flakes at a local feed store. Flakes are easy to clean and they can be fluffed and forked up much easier than hay. Pine shavings are easy to use for composting. Now, depending on your coop size, using shavings can become somewhat pricey. Shavings can cause crop impactation and since chickens love to scratch and peck, they may decide to ingest the shavings. This is one reason I try to make sure to use flakes instead of shavings. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle the diatomaceous earth inside to help prevent diseases and mites. Wood pellets come in large bags and is readily available at any supply store. Some people like to add a little water to the pellets, mix it together so it becomes kind of dusty before adding it to the chicken coop. Now, I recommend that you use it in a dry chicken coop as opposed to a run area where it'll just get wet and become dusty and muddy. It makes a very soft bedding for the chickens. It smells wonderful and it has great absorption. 
Now, it can become dusty and may lead to some respiratory issues. Using just wood pellets may confuse the chickens as they look very similar to their food. So, I'm adding pine shavings on top of my wood pellets. If you're just starting out raising chickens, click on this video for the 10 most asked questions about raising chickens in your backyard. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and please leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite bedding is. Thank you for watching.